Welcome back to my channel, Down and Dirty Yogi. I am G, your Down and Dirty Yogi. The next few practices that I'm going to post are going to be focused on lifting our moods, lifting our energy, and just feeling a little brighter in our day, if you will. So let's get started. Oh, wait. Subscribe to the channel. I am always posting something fun and interesting. So we're going to do a few sequences here, short, quick, easy, easy sequence here so that we just feel a little happier, a little more energetic, and it's going to be fun. Grab a block. And then let's go. Let's get started. Let's get started standing in the center of our mat with our feet about hips distance apart, maybe a little wider. Your hips are not this big. So you've probably already stepped a bit too wide. Bring your feet in a little bit, really bring them in with your hips. Take a moment here, bring your hands to your chest, close your eyes, start to connect with your breath. If you want to, start now and set an intention for your practice, for your day, or just for the moment. And try and hold that intention to carry you through the next few moments while we're on the mat or throughout your day. On an inhale, bend back, keep your hands in prayer. Let your head fall all the way back. And then exhale, fold forward, bring your hands down to the ground. Let your head fall. Inhale, bring your hands back to your chest, all the way up, lean back. Chest shining forward, shining up towards the sky. And then exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands back down to the ground. Let your head fall. In this position, take your hands, interlace them behind your back. Bring your shoulders together and then exhale even deeper. Let your arms fall forward. Let gravity do the work here for you. Bring your palms as close together as you can without strain. Take a few breaths here. And then exhale, bring your hands back down to the ground. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands. Step wider. Inhale, straighten your back, bring your fingertips to the ground. Now, if you have a block, this is where you might need it. So bring your block. It has three positions. It's this way, this way, or this way. So depending on your flexibility, you're going to use this block to support your head. So inhale, and then you might need to step out wider, and then exhale, bring your head down to your block or all the way down to the ground. Inhale, halfway, and then turn your feet out, squat down, raise up into goddess pose. Inhale, straighten all the way up, bring your hands back to your chest. Inhale, and then exhale. Forward fold again, all the way back down, head on your block or the ground. Inhale, turn your feet back out, 
sit back down and then lift on up into your goddess pose. Inhale, straighten your legs. And this time, turn your back foot forward, right foot forward, hands to hips. Bend your front leg, lift your back heel into a crescent pose. Raise your arms. Exhale, hands down, step back into plank pose. Push down through your fingers, pull your belly in, and then exhale, lower down, chaturanga, all the way to your bellies, untuck your toes, inhale into cobra, and then exhale, down dog. Push down through your hands here, push your thighs up, pull your belly in, push your chest towards your thighs. And then on an inhale, raise your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your knee back down, foot down. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Bend your knee, foot down, back to all fours. Breathe here, inhale, look at your hands. And this time, go ahead and step your left foot forward. Lift that back heel, inhale. And then exhale, hands back down, step back into plank. Push down through your hands. In through your belly, exhale, chaturanga, all the way down, untuck your toes, inhale, exhale, push back into down dog, take a breath here, inhale, right leg back up to the sky, bend that knee, bring it in towards your elbow, rocking back into plank. And then back up. Inhale again and exhale. Bend your knee. Bring it back in towards your elbow. Back up. One more time on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Come on forward. Back up into your down dog. One leg, two legs. Take a breath in between. Now left side up towards the sky, bend your knee, bring it in towards your other elbow, back up, inhale and now exhale, rocking forward, back up, inhale, exhale, back up, exhale, all fours. From here, bring your elbows down to the ground. Bring your chest down. Push back. Take a breath. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring your knees down to the ground. Push back into your child's pose. Take a few breaths here in child's pose. And then inhale, all fours. Come on around, sit down on your bum. From here, we're going to take our left leg, bring it to our side, cross over with our right leg. Inhale your arms up and then exhale, twist over your right side. Bringing this hand on the outside of your knee, help give yourself leverage, right hand behind you. Inhale, look over your back shoulder. Come 
come on forward. Switch the cross of your legs. Inhale up, arms up, inhale, and then exhale, twist. Inhale, look over your back shoulder. Inhale, come on forward. Take a moment here. Lay on down into Shavasana. Release everything down to the ground. Let your body go completely. Close your eyes and forget about the world around you for a few moments. Whenever it is you're ready, you don't have to do this with me, but roll over to your left side, bring your knees over into child's pose like you're renewing yourself for the day, being born again. Use your arms to support you on your way up. Come to cross leg position. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I appreciate your presence even virtually. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you. Namaste.